Hi, this is Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Today, we're going to do a sipping with Lou. We got this brand, Padre Azul. So they come in these really nice bottles. And let me tell you, the tops, these things are heavy. Feel like they weigh 10 pounds. They're pretty bottles. They look like they're in like these leather looking uh, casements. And, you know, they're really nice bottles, I have to say, with the skull head on top, Padre Azul. So, you know, Laurent Abraham sent these to me. He's with the brand. And, uh, you know, now this is one of those situations where I'll only accept product from a brand when I can't get it in my area or they insist. In this case, he contacted me and wanted to send me these bottles. And I gave him my uh, same speech I give everybody. Uh, with the few brands that I do accept from now, I like to get my own tequila uh, almost exclusively if I can. And I told him, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and that's the way it's going to be. Decide before you send them. And he sent them, and I wrote him back, and I told him I wasn't that impressed, to be honest with you. Um, I thought it was overly sweet, you know, additives in my opinion. Um, you know, in a distillery, you know, it's had some uh, talk about that, you know, uh, up at now 1466 in the valley. So uh, I tried it. Listen, I mean, look, guys, if you like really sweet stuff and you maybe like don't care if it has additives in it or not, although they totally say it doesn't, then you'll like it. Then you'll like it. OK, let's put it to you that way. They've got the whole story, you know, um, how they toast the barrels and um, how it's uh you know, it's it's a uh, uh, eight months for the uh, bourbon barrels, used barrels for the repo, and eighteen months in used bourbon barrels for the añejo. Uh, you know, and how they make it in the ovens and all of that, saying it uh, and with the yeast, how it goes towards the sweet profile. But listen, I've been around a long time, tasted hundreds of tequilas. If it's not um, aged in French oak, which it's not, it's a little too sweet for me, and then it maybe should be okay. So anyway. With that said, if you like sweet tequila, you're going to like it. You're going to like the pretty bottles. There's no doubt about it. They're nice bottles. They're really nice bottles. So, um, you know, uh, you know you're going to like it if you like that kind of thing. All right. So, in any case, let me get into the whole thing now. Um, on Tequila Matchmaker, I tried them all. Um, and I'll, I'll try it again before I give you my uh, my opinion. Okay. Uh, they're selling this stuff now at Z's Old Town, which here's the deal too now, guys. He's lower than most places. You know, he's like 10, 15 bucks lower than most places you can get it at. We all know that. And uh, he's still getting $64.99 for the Blanco. Woo. And $68.99 for the Repo. And $89.99 for the Añejo. So listen, uh, I think it's a little overpriced, in my opinion. I mean, when you can get four the and G4 and, you know, Pesote and El Tesoro and uh, Cash Queen and all that stuff for a lot less money than the Blanco. You know what I mean? And then for the Repo, $68.99. Uh, when you can get Arte Nam $14.14 for $58.99. Again, and the same with the Añejo, $89.99. Jesus, you could get the... Uh, Artenam 1146, which is about as good as it goes for 67.98. So keep that in mind, okay? But if you like a pretty bottle, and you know, I got a saying about pretty bottles, um, you know, so <laughs> most of the time, the stuff inside is not really worthy of the bottles. This is maybe borderline in that sense. Um, they are pretty bottles, and it is nice and sweet. So the Blanco, let's get into it. See, it's really sweet. The nose is really not that bad, though. Sweet, sweet and soft, pepper, pepper. Herbal, yes, like earthy and herbally, herbally. Spice. Maybe some floral, light vanilla. A little creamy. Listen, it's not a bad nose, okay? It's not a bad nose at all. So as a Blanco, as an expensive Blanco, um, not a bad nose. Let's uh, And a nice bottle, so let's get into it. getting a real sweetness, a real vanilla sweetness that's staying on my tongue. Um, it's oily, a little more oily than I think maybe it should be. Don't know if you could see that. Um, I mean, it's soft. It's got vanilla for sure. 
a little floral, definitely herbal, some pepper. It's creamy and funky a little bit in that sense. You know, it's, it's listen, I think the nose is better than uh, the taste. It's a little oily for me. Listen, I'd have to say, yeah, maybe a little fruit popped in just now, maybe some citrus. Look, not bad. Price is a little high. You're getting a bottle, so you got to realize you got to pay for that too, okay? So it's not bad, and it's uh, just a little overly sweet to me, all right? So maybe not something I'd be drinking on a lot, but again, you guys like a little sweet, and you like a nice bottle, you don't mind spending a few extra bucks, this is your baby, all right? So, you know, uh, I'm going with a 70, 73 on the Blanco, okay? Now, let's get into the Repo. This is nice, really nice bottles, I have to say. They're really nice, aren't they? And these tops, my lord, you wouldn't believe. It's like dropping a chunk of cement. They're really nice, though. Oh, okay, we'll put a little more in. I just wanted to show you the bottles and the topper. It's really nice. It's got like a, a leather look with the, you know, like it's tied on and all of that. And uh, put that there. Yeah, so vanilla and caramel, bang. Don't want to call it a total vanilla caramel bomb, but uh, bang, you know. Again, you know, the sweetness in the nose and the taste, and it's not French oak. So they cut the heads and tails a lot. Let me tell you how they make this stuff. So it's a stone brick oven. That's good. Uh, double distilled. That's good. They do mention in the literature that they cut the heads and tails almost all the way, and they discard it, and they just use the hearts. Well, you know. I mean, again, that could be part of the issue here. That and maybe not nah, a toasting of the barrels would be more, in my opinion, for smoke and tobacco. And I don't have that so much. So I don't know about the barrel being the uh, factor but uh, or, the, or the yeast, I don't think. But, um, you know, it's just, it's oily, you know, is what I'm saying. I don't know. It's oily and it's uh, sweeter than it should be. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't really go crazy for the taste. It's really overly sweet. It tastes um, a little artificial to me. There's some back-end heat for sure. You know, it had some uh, honey and vanilla and cinnamon on the nose with the caramel. Can caramel and vanilla, like, bang, you know? That's the prevalent. Some smoke, some fruit. Definitely, uh... It's very sweet, really too sweet for me. That's for me. Now, it does have some roasted nuts in it. And again, like I said, they cut almost all the heads and tails away. So it's really just the heart. It's just sweetness. So, you know, a lot of brands do that. What that means, you really got to understand what that means. When you cut so much of the heads and tails away, you got to cut a certain amount. When you cut so much away, and they admit to it. You really just left with a kind of a neutral, bland, sweet, smooth presence. You know, now I don't know if you have to add stuff to add to, you know, improve the profile or not. But it's not going to be a lot there because there's a lot of flavors and aromas in the heads and tails. Don't let anybody kid you. There's a lot of floral notes in the heads. There's a lot of flavors in the heads and tails. You don't want to cut that much of it away, you know. So again, you know, sweet on the nose and even much sweeter on the taste. So again, if you like it, 75 for me on that guy. Okay. So now, another pretty bottle. No doubt about it. It's really nice. This is the Añejo. Okay. So we're going to try that. Now, to me, this is the best nose of the bunch. Okay. Okay. I say that because it's got a little whiskey nose to it. It's got some roasted nuts. It's got some honey. It's got some uh, dried fruit like. So when the, this is this is nice. This is really nice. Nutmeg maybe, light caramel, you know, the vanilla, all of that's there. Light fruit. But uh, it's nice. The sweetness is for some reason. It's not overbearing in this one. A little more whiskey in this guy. This is so far my favorite nose of the bunch. Listen, I'd say the taste is sweet. Maybe, you know, like like I say on the maximum side of the word sweet. But for some reason, this is not as sweet as the repo. 
this is not as sweet as the repo, which, you know, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, it's got spice. It's got uh, nutmeg on that taste. Light fruit, caramel, herbal. Again, listen, regardless what the brand says about absolutely no additives and this and that, there's a lot of oil, there's a lot of vanilla, and there's a lot of caramel, and it's not French oak, which gives you that extra sweetness, so you got to start to wonder a little bit, but, you know, I'm going to say it again, guys, and I'm going to give a 76, by the way, this is the highest mark I'm going to give to this guy, all right, so listen, that's not panning the brand by any chance, um, it's, you know, it's not something I drink every day, but listen, guys, again, if you don't mind spending a little extra money getting some really pretty bottles, and... You like a little sweetness, and you don't mind if there's a little additives in it. Um, you know, that's up to you to decide. This is your guy. So listen, it's Padre Azul.